you find that if you are conducting suitability analysis, particularly MCDA, so multi-criteria decision analysis, you'll often combine various input layers and give a weighting of each while you are doing the overlay, while you are doing the combination of these layers. In ArcGIS Pro, there are multiple ways of creating a weighted sum or weighted overlay. One of these is through the weighted overlay tool, which you'll find in your geoprocessing tools. You add rasters directly to the tool. It's very important to note that the raster should be in the same spatial resolution, so the same cell size. They should also always be scaled already onto the same scale, so for example, should have the same number of classes. So in this instance, for example, I would like to create a weighted sum of distance to transportation lines, distance to towns, and a slope. So for three input layers, my weights, which are expressed T in percentage, must always equal up to 100%. So I'll say transportation lines, distance to these will have a weighting of 25%. Distance to towns will have a weighting of 45%. And the remainder adding up to hundreds will then be the weighting of the final layer, which is slope. So that would be 30%. You run the tool, and once it is added to the screen, you'll see that your individual pixels of the input layers have been added together. You've got three possible values here, one, two, three, giving you a weighted overlay sum of your input layers that you had put into the tool. A more dynamic tool would be the weighted sum tool, which you also find in your geoprocessing tools. Here, for example, you can add the same layers again. So I will add my individual layers that I had before for the other tools. So I'll add my slope and I would like to add my distance to towns and distance to transportation as well. See them all added there. Then I can decide on which value or which or count in this case. So then I can decide on which field I would like to add the weights on. So if you have more than one field assigned to your raster, you can utilize any one of those. So it's a little bit more dynamic. And the weights here doesn't add up to 100, but to 1. So you will give it decimal points of so 0.25 and my towns for 0 0.45. And my slope was a remainder of 30%, so 0.3. So this tool is a little bit more dynamic, but it essentially does the same as the weighted overlay. The difference here is that, of course, there's a little bit more of a scaling factor, as you can see. So this has a continuous scale, and the weighted overlay simply does a integer scale, so unique value. Another way of creating a weighted sum is by using the raster calculator. So in this particular instance, again, you simply add the data that you have used for the other tools as well. So in this case, again, transportation, slopes, and your distance to towns. So I'd like to add these. So you're going to create a simple sum in your interface. And what you can do now is you simply multiply the weights with the feature layers. You'll find that the raster calculator has the same result as the weighted sum. So here again, we've got a scaling on a constant scale, 0 to 3.1 in this case, whereas the weighted overlay creates those integer values or those unique values.